Hi, I'm Noelle Cellini. In this video, I'm going to give you some wardrobe and closet tips. So the first one I have is for anybody who has kind of a, a larger wrist or a larger hand and sometimes can't get, you know, certain bangles or bracelets to fit you, I have found that if you take, you can take a regular plastic bag. I took just, you know, like a grocery bag and kind of just ripped it and made it a little bit smaller. The main thing is that you just want it to fit over your your hand and your wrist and then take your bangle and with the bag it will slip nicely over your hand and then onto, onto your wrist. Um, and I just want to point out here too that if you can see some people call this arm candy. I actually just say that less is more when it comes to dressing the body, meaning the less fruff and stuff we have going on, the better. You know, it's better to keep a simple silhouette. That's usually the most flattering. But I say that more is better when it comes to jewelry. So one is kind of the loneliest number. So I think if you can layer them on, all the, all the better. Um, so this one kind of has a more summer vibe because of the color. And then because I like big rings and stuff like that, I'm just going to throw on um, a little turquoise one to just kind of finish off the look. But you don't have to do that many if you don't feel comfortable just yet. So now that we know how to get the bangles on, I want to show you something that I do for when I wear belts and I wear them higher as kind of an accent piece. And those little ones that don't really have another like hook to kind of hold it in place. So a lot of times when I'm wearing them here and I'm not wearing them through belt loops or anything like that, the little end can kind of flap out and, and, and stick out. So what I do is instead of storing it on a belt hook or a hanger, I actually curl them up and then I store them like that just on a shelf. In, in my closet and you can stack them. So that way next time you put it on, the little end will be tamed and stay in its place. So the other thing I want to talk about briefly is a lot of people keep especially some specialty items in the dry cleaning bag. You know, usually if it's like a one-time dress or something white or something like that. And it's okay to keep it in some sort of garment bag, but you don't want to keep clothes in the bags that you get from the cleaners because that can keep the chemicals trapped in there with the clothes and can slowly, over time, wreak havoc on, you know, your beloved wardrobe. So it's okay to keep, like, the top half. A lot of times this is paper. That's fine, too. But you just always want to make sure to take them out of the dry cleaning bags themselves. And then lastly, I wanted to go over, so out of season with my boots in the spring and summer, I just store my boots away in, in boxes, you know, sometimes with tissue paper in them, but they're laying down in the boxes, so I don't need to worry so much about them. But during the fall and winter when I'm wearing them, and I may not wear these every day, so they may sit in my closet and kind of fall over. And it, this isn't the end of the world, but, you know, it's nice to help them maintain their shape. So kind of an easy, quick fix is to take an empty water bottle and you want to make sure that it's definitely empty and dry because any moisture will wreak havoc on your boots. And you can just stick that in there and that will help keep them up. So just a quick, easy, inexpensive fix for maintaining your wardrobe. So hopefully this is giving you some good, quick tips.